Here's a creepy community theory on why Emu wants to capture Vivi after today's new episode of One Piece. It's no secret that Emu wants to capture Vivi for some weird reason, and it probably has to do with the fact that Vivi's ancestor is Queen Lily. Emu seems really obsessed with her, maybe even angry because she betrayed him big time. What if, during the time of the original 20 Kings, Emu fell in love with Lily, but then she rejected him? Maybe she didn't agree with his evil ideas that he would often speak about, and then his love turned into a dangerous obsession. Because of the rejection, Emu lost control and driven by his emotions ended up ending Lily for good. This fits with how Emu reacts when they're angry, like when they dispose of Saint Saturn or destroy Lelugia. It really reflects that spoiled bratty nature of the celestial dragons when they don't get what they want. Emu could have been the one who set that pattern among the 20 rulers. Afterwards, Emu felt intense regret for what they had done to the person they loved most. In a twisted effort to not lose Lily forever, they used the powers of a devil fruit to take control of her body, essentially transferring themselves inside her and turning her deceased body into a puppet. A puppet they're now inside. Then when Emu saw Vivi who's the spitting image of Lily, they saw a chance for a second shot at love. Now they're trying to capture Vivi against her will, believing they can be with her romantically. And Emu was this close, they almost captured Vivi too, but everything went wrong when Sabo broke into the throne room, his interference triggered a chain reaction that led to Wapo unintentionally saving Vivi and delaying Emu's plan. But let me know what you guys think, do you think Emu did it because of love? Or did they maybe take over Lily's body because that was the key to becoming immortal and gaining true power. Let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts.